Now, China has sacked three senior railway officials after the country's deadliest train disaster in three years. One high-speed train crashed into the back of another in eastern Wenchuan. At least 34 people were killed, including two foreigners. The tragedy raises new questions about the safety of China's fast-growing rail network. Hours after Saturday's accident, China ordered what it calls an urgent overhaul of national rail safety. It had been the subject of widespread concern even before the crash. An initial investigation blames the accident on equipment failure caused by a lightning strike. The power failure knocked out an electronic safety system designed to warn operators of stalled trains on the tracks up ahead. China's flagship rail link between Beijing and Shanghai, too, has seen a series of power outages blamed on stormy weather ever since it opened last month, a year ahead of schedule. The 33 billion US dollar project has also drawn allegations of corruption and raised concerns over whether corners were being cut on rail safety. Hundreds of millions in China depend on its railways, and long distance trains can carry as many as a thousand passengers. And when thousands of internet users blamed railway officials for Saturday's accident, authorities moved quickly to sack three senior officials at the Shanghai Railway Bureau, which is responsible for the province where the accident happened. The officials will also, quote, be subject to investigation. The suspect in...